Hi, I'm Amy at the Blue Bonnet Regional Library for the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Welcome to the Fall Leaf Art Tutorial where you will learn how to create your own unique design using some paper towel roll and some glue. If you stopped by Blue Bonnet and picked up one of our grab and go bags, you should have two paper towel rolls, a container of glue, some clear string, and two Q-tips. All you will need for this craft is a pen or a pencil, a sharp pair of scissors, and maybe a ruler. When you are done, it might look something like this. You have several design options with this craft, so play around with the different designs and see which one you like best. Here are some examples. This person used a kind of a vertical, horizontal design. This person used a cluster design, and this person went very elaborate and combined different shapes and sizes to make a very pretty design. Let's take a closer look so you can see how to get started. First, you will need to flatten one of your tubes, one of your paper towel rolls. Flatten it and press down on it. Now you will decide how big you want your pieces to be. It is entirely up to you how many pieces you want to use to create your design. If you want to use thick strips of the paper towel roll, that's fine, but you'll have fewer pieces to work with. I have found about a half inch is a pretty good size uh, to give you a lot of leaves and a lot of options. So if you have a ruler, you can measure it. It does not have to be exact, just approximately. And if that size looks good to you, if that's the size you would like to use, go ahead and cut all your pieces so you'll have lots to play with. Once you have cut all of your pieces, you'll have lots of leaves to play with. So from here, you can decide what kind of leaves you want to use. There are three basic shapes that you can use to create your design, or design your own shapes. But these are three that I used in mine, and I really liked how it turned out. So the first design is the basic leaf shape design. So you can open and have a nice round leaf or if you want a narrow leaf you can make it very narrow. It's entirely up to you. If you cut one of your leaves open then you can use this as an option as well. And then another one is what I'm calling a quill leaf. So you would take one of your open leaves and your pen or pencil and just wrap it tightly around your pen or pencil and it will create a curve in your piece, in your leaf. So that is another option as well. Once you have your pieces and your different shapes, then just have fun and play with different designs. If you want to have multiple pieces together, they only need to have one point of contact. You can do more of a flower shape if you prefer. If you want a flower shape with a lot of different leaves on the side and just attach play around with it see what you what looks good to you and how you would like it to look in the end
Once you have decided on your design, then you will need your glue. It does not take a lot of glue, um, and it does dry pretty quickly, but you'll need to hold it together for just a little bit until it sets. And then you can keep building more pieces, or you can build pieces and then put them all together. Again, it is up to you. I want this to be your design and to just have fun with it. There is some string that we have included in your bag. If you would like to hang up your art after you are done, then you can use the string to hang up your art however you would like. Or if you would like to string your pieces across a door frame or something like that across a wall, that is also an option. You have four feet of string, so you can cut it up and use it however you would like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a lot of fun. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 225-763-2270. We're happy to help you over the phone. We have new programs every month, so give us a call or go to our online calendar at www.ebrpl.com to see what's coming up. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.